Hi, it's me again, Guido, and I want to tell you some updates about our project Silent Scrub, a documentary about the lost Venezuelan biotechnology. Well, we're very excited because in slightly more than a week, we have gotten almost to 80% of the funds required. And uh, we really were not expecting this overwhelming amount of support, of encouragement, of so many people that have told me Guido that's a really nice story I'm very glad you're telling it or some people that was telling me oh you know once I heard about it but I thought it was an urban legend because it was so crazy that uh, I didn't think it really happened but yeah, it happened and we're going to tell that story we're so confident that we're gonna raise the necessary funds that we're actually starting the filming within the next two weeks where our our own savings, our own money from our out of our pockets because we believe in this project and we're going to make it happen as fast as we can because this is an important lesson that we need to learn. With all the catastrophe and the tragedy that's happened in Venezuela, at least we should be able to learn from it. Even if not everyone's going to learn, at least some people will learn from our lessons and uh, some good can come out of all this mess. Uh, in other news, uh, we also sent our first Ami Papaya, the mascot of our project, the Amigurumi Papaya, to one of our funders who uh, donated in cash. So we were able to uh, ship the Ami Papaya to him before the Kickstarter ends, and he's very, very happy with his new Ami Papaya. Our artist, Josaba, is already working on more and uh, I think she has actually built 10 or 12 and uh, we will build a lot more hopefully uh, we're very excited and very impressed by the speed of all your donations we're really overwhelmed in a very good way also more people have come forward and talked to us about this project and about their experiences so we're gonna interview more people that we didn't know about and included a very special, a very interesting case that shows how much of a persecution against against scientists there was and there still is in Venezuela when they don't say things that the government likes or the, the anti-GMO activists doesn't like. For instance, this uh, scientist was persecuted. She got a, an administrative sanction, a punishment from her institution because the anti-GMO activists dislike uh, biotech uh, book that she wrote. She wrote that biotech was positive, that it was a force for good, that it could change the world, and these people didn't like it, and uh, they twist the arm of her research institution, and she was punished. She's going to talk in our documentary. And, uh, well, I have also some bad news uh, that still to this day in uh, among mass famines going in Venezuela, the TV channel Telesur is still uh, spreading a lot of misinformation about GMOs. They just release uh, infographic that uh, tells that GMOs cause cancer and they give you all sort of diseases and, you know, the usual myth. And it's really, really sad that in the middle of all these problems that Venezuela has in the middle of this all-time low production in the Venezuelan fields these people are still spreading misinformation instead of trying to find solutions to our very very serious problems my own family right now in Venezuela is having a very bad time and I'm doing what I can to help them and um, to me it's just incredible how these people are so completely ignorant they they don't even try to back their affirmations their claims with sources with papers no they just say that and still spread misinformation to millions of people that are their audience this is completely irresponsible and uh, well it is uh, pretty much in a nugget what has been the Chavez government for Venezuela well, those were the updates, and again, I'm very happy with uh, what uh, the way that th this project has been going, and uh, 
I am going to tell you please keep your support keep spreading the news keep sharing our website keep tweeting keep sharing us on Facebook and our social networks it is very important for us that this story is told that this story is not forgotten that we can learn some lessons from what happened in Venezuela thank you very much <laughs>